Hello and welcome to our tutorial on Verisense with Califex. Today I will show you how easy it is to solve a color application with Verisense. For us human beings, it is one of the easiest thing on earth to name and tell apart colors, such as light blue, dark green or yellow. We do not even have to think about it, but actually it is really difficult to define or describe a color in the world of technology. All color models are three-dimensional, as you can see in the displayed RGB or LAB color models here. So if you want to inspect one single color, you will have to set six limits to describe the accepted color. If you have an inspection task such as this one, does the color pencil pack contain all the right colors in the correct order? You will have to configure something like that. And while you are doing that, you will have to keep in mind that a reliable inspection can only be reached if the defined color limits do not interfere with each other. So there is a little more to do to solve a color application task in Mesh and Vision. But I want to show you how easy it can be done with Verisense. As you can see, now we are connected to a color Verisense. I have already adjusted the image, applied the white balance, you should always do that at first, and now we are solving the task. We check the features. The feature that we need is color positioning. Okay. And first of all, we have to teach Verisense the color palette. This means we have to teach Verisense all the colors that should be in the color pencil pack. First we click Add, draw a rectangle around yellow, and here you can see Verisense already names the color. Add another one, and this is red. Third one, pink, blue, first green and the darker green. Now you can see that there are two exclamation marks in the two pink colors and this means that these two colors interfere with each other. You can easily see that in this diagram. And the only thing that we have to do now is to set down the accepted deviation of the two of them. Until there are no more exclamation marks and, again, as you can see, the colors do not touch each other. The second part of our task is the right order of all the colors. I go to working area and add my first work working area where yellow is supposed to be. As you can see, the most frequent color shall be yellow. We do the same for all the other colors right now. Well, and that's it. Now you can check whether all the color pencils are in the right order. Let me show you. If I, for example, exchange the two pink color pencils, Verisense tells me that these two lie in the false position. And also, if one of the red color pencils is missing, Verisense tells me that there is not the right color in the right position. So for checking all of these six colors, we didn't have to adjust 36 limits. It was that easy, simply teach the color and say what you want, the most frequent color in the right position. 